There was, uh, you ever heard a song called Redemption Song by Nestor Robert Marley? Yeah. Um, uh, <laughs> it's uh, interesting that uh, people are strange. But, um, you know, it's uh, how long shall they kill our prophets while we stand aside and say, the look, some say it's just a part of it. We got to fulfill the book. Where are your pages in history? You know, how do people talk to you eternally? You know, where, where do you uh, wager, in, you know, being compared to Pascal or Jesus, you know, it's not, you shouldn't compare yourself to others. But um, do good, you know. Be good. Yeah, that's what you should be concerned about. Okay, not winning, not fighting, just being good. You know, when you do good, you know, you can't do good for others. You can just do good. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times you can do something good for others and they resent you for it. They hate you for it. Trust me, that's happened to me a lot. <laughs> okay. Oh, right. And then they get mad at you because you're doing good. And it's like, well, you're just showing off. You just think you're all that. I get that so much. Even from my own father, a lot. Yeah. And it's frustrating because I can't share anything that I'm doing and that I'm feeling and that I'm learning. You know, when I used to, my mom, I used to be able to share stuff with my mom. Oh, that's great. Or, oh, you know. Uh, my ex-wife's, no, you know, Amy would just tell me how naive and dumb I was, and Steffi would always say how I was trying to make her feel stupid. And Amy was just, yo, you're so naive and dumb, people will screw you, 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 you know. And then she would get totally screwed over doing stupid things that she thought was sneaky and smart and Frank Abagnale, and she'd get in trouble and say, I'm going to try being honest, it seems to work for you. It's like, um, uh, it does. Life's eternal and grace is infinite, you know, but you have to be a truthful person to be honest, you know, and if you're not truthful, you honestly suck like presidents of the United States, right? <laughs> you can honestly suck. Yes. Okay. So, um, you know, just understand how to be a human being, a very good human being, you know, and just be good. And then that will, you know, that that's what sustains us is good. You know, people that understand that the power and the glory is infinite glory of God and, and do good and honor the natural laws given to us by the glory of God. You know, the God is not, God's not a possessive pronoun. God's not a first person. God is a term of endearment and understanding for the essence of our existence that provides natural laws. And for us to sustain ourselves, those natural laws have to be good, you know? And so um, it's raining. We've had a long, long rainy day. It's been nice, you know. <laughs> the top of Dave says it's like a dreary day. Not when you're an American Southwest person. You have a day like this. You're like, wow, we needed this, you know. So it's one of those days that you really need when you live in the American Southwest. This is like a day every other day in Seattle or sometimes during the year. And it's like totally miserable. But for us, it's like, yeah, we need the rain, right? <laughs> so it's not miserable for us. Day like today is like, oh, it's been in a day in Seattle weather. If I had to live in Seattle weather all the time, oh, God, depressed the hell out of me. And I'm British. I'm British. <laughs> My name's Rafael Parsons Jr. I'm British. And uh, that kind of weather would depress the hell out of me. Yeah, well, I was born in the American Southwest. You know, Omar Barker. Yeah. It's a poem about Southwest Desert. Mom had it on the wall. But um, uh, these crazy people on 60 Minutes and these crazy people on TV and doing all these stupid things, you know, the Equalizer, FBI, NCIS, CICCIS, CCI, you know, Fire Country. Rah, 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 rah. It's like, are you doing good? No. Well, then why are you excited about getting dressed up in equipment and going and putting out fires? Because you're probably the main cause of the fires. Are you doing good? You live in the Lord's Prayer, making sure that uh, the weather patterns are as healthy as we can possibly have them, making sure that the food is as healthy as it can possibly be, making sure the water is as clean as it can possibly be. Are you making sure the houses are built as sustainable, or do you constantly get on TV and re 
rebuild people's houses and remodel their houses and then they tear it down, start over again. You can make a brand new start. Just care, share, give them coins, they need to build less, right? I can't be concerned about uh, pissing people off or upsetting people. And I don't have to worry about upsetting celebrities. You know, uh, people come into my grill and come in here, you know, you better be serious. You know, if, if, if the temple of set Pupunati is using you to come into here, you better be ready to live the Lord's Prayer. Aki oi, right? And if you're not, how long shall they kill our prophets while we stand aside and look? Some say it's just a part of it. we got to fulfill the book. People, his name is, they call him Lord. His dad's name is Ralph. His mom's name is Mary. People pray. Lots of them for thousands of years. Save us, gracious good shepherd. Save us, Messiah. Teach their technology to be like the Messiah and not a murdering, raping uh, Philistine liar. You know, I'm being silly, but you know what I mean? <laughs> okay, you know what I'm saying? Let's just load this one up as it is now, and then um, uh, I'm going to watch some of the foosball game between the, the Bills and the, and the Chiefs. Those are probably two of my favorite professional football teams, are the Chiefs and the Bills. And uh, I don't know. I like Buffaloes, and uh, you know how I'm about Native and Indigenous folk, right? So that's why, you know, the mascots and stuff. And going to Kansas City, Kansas City, here I come. They got some crazy little women, and they have buffalo wings. I don't, I'm not real big on buffalo wings. Maybe boneless ones. I'm more of a, a breast man myself. Button leg man when it comes to women. Uh, you know, but boobs are fun too. But a breast chicken meat. Chicken meat, breast man. Anybody else? You white meat, right? Okay. <laughs> Drumsticks? All right. I'll eat it if I'm hungry, but I'd rather have a big, big piece of breast meat, right? And so, yeah, I'm a white meat, breast meat. You know, most people are. <laughs> most people are, you know. And, um, um, yep, yep, yep. But, um, yeah, crazy people, man. They're more into their sports than they are uh, passing on the perfect beauty of the Lord's Prayer to their children and grandchildren. That was pretty sick, man. Gosh, you know, if you guys were half a lick of intelligent, you'd be embarrassed as hell. Or you could be dancing around the end zones for lots of money that gets children raped to death and people killed with fentanyl to control surplus population numbers. <laughs> you sit and watch it, guys. When you watch those videos, I'm, I'm, I laugh, but it's like, you know, it's any, any, any mook could see it. They're just setting you guys up for genocide, but it, they're shifting it. It used to be, you know, buy war bonds, go kill for America, Magic Valhalla. Now it's, uh, you know, be a homosexual, don't have children, destroy the fetus, you can't afford it. Um, your relationship sucks because you have no meaningful relationships because you're a constant trained consumer and a fighting uh, consumer-driven sociopath. I, you sit and watch it, and you're like, okay. They just change the narrative, but the narrative still always sucks. Vampires. Dumb vampires. You're in San Dimas. Uh, is it not San Dimas? So it's Santa Clara or whatever. I don't know. The one from the Lost Boys. San Dimas football. That's Bill and Ted, right? San Dimas football rules, right? Okay. Stupid, isn't it? Yeah. These people on TV making all kinds of commercials for all kinds of money. Never realized, you know, that they were stupid as fuck and millions of years in the making and weren't even nearly as good of an athlete as Ralphie Earl Parsons Jr., the five foot eleven, one hundred and eighty-five. Well, basketball, my best basketball playing weight was probably about buck seventy, buck sixty-five. Because I could fly and jump. Football weight would probably be about a buck ninety-five, because I could fly and jump. <laughs> but I quit playing. It wasn't worth it to me. They would try too hard. I had a, I could recover faster than most guys that get injured, like I'm doing now with the chemical poisoning and stuff like that. But uh, it wasn't worth it to me. I wanted a good quality of life with a healthy wife and healthy playing with your grandkids and stuff, you know, and things like that. So if it got too excessive and compulsive where it would destroy your quality of life because your ego got in the way, i just quit. Well, I'm healthy. I'm like Dr. Naismith, a PE teacher to the rich people in Massachusetts back in the early days of the United States. A stupid mark with Michael Youssef. Springfield, Massachusetts, we all need to unite. And they all got their cell phones out and they're listening to idiots sing uh, uh, money, uh, music for money. And you're like, oh, yeah, this is exactly what Jesus had in mind when he said Christ Mass. <laughs> Let's all get together for Christ Mass. Uh, you know, if uh, Jolly Old St. Nicholas and. Uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> King Stanislaus, yeah. And there's that fucked up uh, Ridley Scott movie. Yeah. Let's go back and revisit the days when the Romans used to mass murder people and have entertainment of murdering people in the, in the gladiator pit and have a bunch of egomaniacs pretend to be those wackos from the past. Yeah, how much money is it making? Lots of money. And CGI, all the CGI graphics of the destructive, aggressive, violent behaviors that should have been eradicated from the face of the planet hundreds of years ago if we were as intelligent as Jesus Christ or Muhammad or Mecca or myself? You guys, NCICSCCC, figure out those crimes. Come on, figure out those crimes. The biggest crime goes right here every day in your fucked up little heads. My hero, zero. Want some sploosh? Okay, guys. I love you. Yeah, that, you know, those onions ain't going to save you from the spotted lizards because the spotted lizards ain't real. But your minds, damn, crazy. Eternal sunshine of the spotless mind? Yeah, Truman Show. Yeah.